back to Fort Smith and hang you. And I think I will not go. Now, how do you like that? In 1969, the Western film True Grit emerged as a cinematic milestone, directed by Henry Hathaway and featuring John Wayne, who delivered an unforgettable performance alongside Glenn Campbell and Kim Darby. The film's cast was bolstered by the talents of Robert Duvall, Dennis Hopper, Jeff Corey, and Struther Martin. Glenn Campbell not only acted, but also performed the film's Oscar-nominated title song. The script, penned by Marguerite Roberts, was a faithful adaptation of Charles Portes' novel of the same name, published a year prior. This ensemble cast brought to life a story of determination and bravery in the rugged American West. In the 1969 film True Grit, Maddie Ross is portrayed as a determined and intelligent young girl who is not hindered by her plain appearance or youthful age. Her practical skills are evident as she confidently manages the accounting for her father's ranch. Despite her tender years, Maddie is not shielded from the grim aspects of life on the frontier. Her resilience and maturity are crucial as she navigates the challenges and dangers she encounters, demonstrating a steadfastness that belies her age. Maddie's character is central to the narrative, driving the story forward with her unyielding spirit and sharp intellect. In the 1969 film True Grit, Maddie is determined to avenge her father's death. Her father was killed by his worker, Tom Cheney, and in her quest for justice, she seeks the assistance of Deputy Marshal Rooster Cogburn. Together, they embark on a perilous journey to bring the murderer to justice, navigating through dangerous territories and facing numerous challenges along the way. Maddie's resolve and Cogburn's experience create a dynamic partnership in this pursuit. The narrative follows their encounters with outlaws and the law, highlighting themes of bravery, retribution, and the harsh realities of frontier justice. Fall, reach the north! I'll spare the girl! You got five minutes! In the 1969 film True Grit, Texas Ranger Labuoff, portrayed by Glenn Campbell, is on a mission to capture the criminal Tom Chaney for a separate offense. His path crosses with that of young Maddie Ross, who is determined to bring Chaney to justice for the murder of her father. Labuoff and Maddie, along with the gruff, one-eyed Deputy Marshal Reuben J. Rooster Cogburn, form an unlikely alliance. Together, they navigate the dangers of the wild frontier in their relentless pursuit. Labowoff's experience as a Texas Ranger brings a unique set of skills to the group, complementing Cogburn's rough and tumble approach to law enforcement. Their journey is fraught with challenges, but their collective resolve to capture Cheney forges a strong bond between the co-stars. In the 1969 film True Grit, character development is central to the narrative, with the three main characters undergoing significant growth and change. The film delves into their personalities and backstories, which are crafted to be both credible and engaging. Rooster Cogburn, a U.S. Marshal, displays a rough exterior, yet his interactions with Maddie Ross reveal a more nuanced character capable of compassion and change. Maddie herself is portrayed as determined and resilient, driving the plot forward with her quest for justice. Lastly, Texas Ranger Labowiff adds a contrasting perspective, his own code of honor providing a foil to Cogburn's methods. Their dynamics evolve throughout the film, shaped by their experiences and the challenges they face together. A fair show that they give old man Potter. Tell me that. Man. In the 1969 film True Grit, Maddie Ross is portrayed as a character of determination and resilience. From the onset, she demonstrates an unwavering resolve to seek justice for her father's murder. Despite facing a world dominated by rugged outlaws and lawmen, Maddie refuses to be treated as an observer in her own quest. Her actions consistently reflect a maturity and courage that belies her young age. She negotiates with seasoned businessmen with confidence, hires the toughest U.S. Marshal she can find, and insists on accompanying him to capture the killer, Tom Chaney. Throughout the perilous journey, Maddie's independence and tenacity shine. She confronts danger head-on, whether it's crossing a river on horseback or facing Chaney himself. Her strong will is not just in pursuit of retribution, it's also in her refusal to conform to the expectations of her gender and age during the era. 
Maddie's character stands as a testament to her unwavering spirit and her ability to stand equal among those who underestimate her. Sis? The Bibbs family's put up another $1,500 for Cheney. Have they now? Yep. What are the terms? Just deliver Cheney. In the 1969 film True Grit, the supporting cast plays a significant role in enriching the narrative. Struther Martin, Dennis Hopper, and Robert Duvall deliver performances that provide additional layers to the main character's journeys. Their portrayals contribute to the film's exploration of justice and bravery in the unforgiving landscape of the American West. Each actor brings their unique touch to the story, enhancing the authenticity and emotional weight of the central plot. Through their interactions with the protagonists, they help to build a world that is both challenging and reflective of the era's moral complexities. Like iron. Well, you're lucky to be where water's so handy. I've seen the time I've... In the 1969 film True Grit, John Wayne delivered a memorable performance as Rooster Cogburn, a role that earned him the Academy Award for Best Actor. Portraying Cogburn, Wayne brought to life an aging, overweight, and one-eyed U.S. Marshal who is both rough around the edges and authoritative. His character is hired by a young girl to track down her father's murderer, embarking on a perilous journey that tests his grit and resolve. Wayne's portrayal of Cogburn was not only a highlight of his career, but also a defining moment in cinema, showcasing his ability to embody a character with depth and authenticity. The film itself has become a classic, remembered for its adventurous spirit and Wayne's powerful central performance. Why? Yes, ma'am. You know if any one of them is Tom Cheney? Well, Cogburn ain't turned in his list yet. The 1969 film True Grit utilized the natural scenery of both Colorado and California to bring its story to life. In Colorado, the area around Ridgeway provided the rugged backdrop necessary for the western genre with its expansive views and challenging terrain. This location was pivotal for scenes that required an authentic feel of the Old West. Additionally, Hot Creek near Mammoth Lakes in California was chosen for its unique geological features that added a dramatic effect to the film's visual narrative. The contrasting landscapes between the two states offered a diverse setting that enriched the film's visual appeal and authenticity. In the production of the 1969 film True Grit, the casting process presented its own set of challenges that shaped the final lineup. Mia Farrow was originally selected for the role of Maddie, the film's determined young protagonist. However, due to creative differences that could not be reconciled, Farrow decided to depart from the project. This left the production team with the task of finding a replacement capable of embodying Maddie's tenacious spirit. Simultaneously, the character of Lavoev, a Texas Ranger pivotal to the narrative, was almost portrayed by the legendary musician and actor Elvis Presley. Presley's potential involvement in True Grit generated excitement, as his star power was undeniable. Nevertheless, negotiations fell through when Presley's management insisted on top billing, a demand that the producers were unwilling to accommodate given the ensemble nature of the cast. This impasse led to the casting of Glenn Campbell, a popular singer and television host at the time, who stepped into the role of Labua. Campbell brought his own unique flair to the character, contributing to the dynamic chemistry among the cast members. His portrayal added a distinct charm to the film, complementing the performances of his co-stars and helping to solidify True Grit as a memorable western in the annals of cinema. In the 1969 film True Grit, the character Rooster Cogburn, a tough and grizzled U.S. Marshal, was depicted as a man in his 40s. However, the actor portraying him, John Wayne, was actually 61 years old during the filming. This age difference did not detract from Wayne's performance. In fact, his portrayal of Cogburn is often cited as one of his most memorable roles. Wayne's ability to embody the character's gritty determination and rough exterior despite the age discrepancy contributed to the film's success and his own legacy as an actor. The film follows Cogburn's journey as he is hired by a young girl to track down her father's murderer, showcasing the Marshal's skill and tenacity as he navigates the challenges of the wild frontier. She's nothing to me! John Wayne, the lead actor in the 1969 film True Grit, despite the film's success and his Academy Award win for Best Actor, 
held the view that there were other films in his career that better showcased his acting abilities. He expressed a sentiment that the Oscar accolade was not merited for his performance in True Grit and considered his peer, Richard Burton, to have delivered a more award-worthy performance that year. Wayne's humility and candidness about his own work and the recognition he received highlight the personal standards he set for himself and his craft. His reflections on the award reveal his respect for the talent of his colleagues and his own critical assessment of his performances. Fix something for all of you. Well, why don't you go inside? In the 1969 film True Grit, while most characters are products of creative storytelling, the character of Judge Parker stands out for his basis in historical fact. Judge Isaac Parker, to whom Judge Parker in the film alludes, was a real figure in American history, serving as the federal judge for the Western District of Arkansas at Fort Smith. Nicknamed the Hanging Judge, Isaac Parker was known for his stern and often severe judgments during the late 19th century, a period marked by lawlessness in the American territories. His reputation for handing down capital punishment and his efforts to restore order in the region has made him a notable figure in the annals of American jurisprudence. The film's inclusion of a character inspired by Judge Parker lends a touch of historical authenticity to the otherwise fictional narrative, anchoring the story in a tangible reality of the American frontier justice system. I hired him to go after the murder. I found him myself and I shot him. If I killed him, I would not be in this fix. During the production of the 1969 film True Grit, tensions arose among the cast, particularly concerning the performances of certain actors. John Wayne, who played the central character Rooster Cogburn, expressed concerns about the performance of Kim Darby, who portrayed Matty Ross. Wayne felt that Darby's portrayal was rigid and lacked fluidity, which he believed detracted from the dynamic nature of her character. Similarly, director Henry Hathaway was not shy about voicing his dissatisfaction with Glenn Campbell's acting. Campbell, a singer turned actor for this film, faced criticism for his portrayal of La Boeuf, a Texas Ranger. Hathaway felt that Campbell's performance did not meet the demands of the role, indicating a need for more depth in his acting. These internal conflicts among the film's leading figures highlighted the challenges of bringing together a diverse cast with varying levels of experience and expectations for the film. Despite these issues, True Grit went on to become a significant success, earning John Wayne an Academy Award for Best Actor, a testament to the film's ability to overcome production hurdles and resonate with audiences. For her, so I told her so. Women have the screenplay for the 1969 film True Grit was crafted by Marguerite Roberts. Her work on this project marked a significant return to Hollywood after being blacklisted due to her political beliefs. Despite the ideological differences, her screenplay received high praise from John Wayne, the film's leading actor. Roberts' adaptation of Charles Porty's novel of the same name is noted for its faithful representation of the book's dialogue and narrative style. Her ability to translate the novel's distinct voice into a cinematic format played a crucial role in the film's success. The screenplay structure and character development allowed the actors, especially John Wayne, to deliver performances that became emblematic of their careers. Wayne's portrayal of the tough, one-eyed U.S. Marshal Rooster Cogburn earned him an Academy Award for Best Actor, a testament to the strength of the screenplay and Robert's skill as a screenwriter. Over there by myself. You're scared in the dark? I've never been scared in the dark. Well, in the 1969 film True Grit, John Wayne portrayed the role of Rooster Cogburn, a U.S. Marshal who is distinguished by his rough exterior and one-eyed gaze. The eye patch became a defining aspect of Wayne's character, symbolizing the Marshal's rugged past and survival instinct. For the purpose of filming, Wayne wore eye patches that were specially designed with a wire mesh cover hole to allow him visibility. This practical feature was hidden from the camera's view, maintaining the illusion of the character's impaired vision. The eye patch worn by Wayne not only served a functional role during production, but also became a piece of cinematic history. Reflecting the actor's significant presence in the film industry and the enduring popularity of the character he played, one of these eye patches was later auctioned for a substantial sum of 48 000, highlighting the value placed on memorabilia associated with prominent figures in film. This sale underscores the lasting appeal of the film and its characters as well as the deep connection fans have with the artifacts of cinema that bring their favorite stories and personalities to life.
Goodbye, Ruben, she said. During the production of the 1969 film True Grit, a significant disagreement arose between John Wayne and Robert Duvall concerning the latter's method acting technique. This conflict escalated to the point where John Wayne expressed his displeasure in a manner that suggested a physical altercation could ensue. The tension also involved disagreements with the director, adding to the onset challenges. This incident highlights the clash of different acting philosophies and the intense atmosphere that can develop during the filmmaking process. Nobody from Texas I couldn't change. In the 1969 film True Grit, John Wayne portrayed the rough and tumble character of Rooster Cogman. A significant yet often overlooked aspect of his role was his horse dollar. His horse was not just a prop, but a character that shared the screen with Wayne, especially in the final scene where Cogburn charges four outlaws. Dollar's presence was powerful, embodying the spirit of the Old West that Wayne was known for on screen. The bond between Wayne and Dollar extended beyond True Grit, as the horse became a favored companion of the actor. Dollar was featured in several of Wayne's subsequent films, a testament to the strong connection they had developed. This bond culminated with Dollar's appearance in Wayne's final film, The Shootist, where the horse once again stood by Wayne's side, as if acknowledging their long-standing partnership in the actor's cinematic journey. The presence of Dollar in these films provided a sense of continuity and loyalty qualities that were deeply associated with Wayne's own persona and his portrayal of characters who embody the essence of determination and grit. My traps, Rooster. Send that money to my brother. Do you want us to tell your brother what happened to you? The 1969 film True Grit had its premiere in Little Rock, Arkansas and quickly became a financial triumph. In the initial year of release within the United States and Canada, it garnered an impressive $11.5 million from rentals alone. The strong performance at the box office reflected the audience's appreciation and the film's ability to draw crowds, establishing it as a notable entry in the Western genre of that era. You can't leave him like this. I'm the one that's leaving him. I don't get True Grit stands out as a memorable Western film celebrated for its engaging narrative and strong character arcs. The movie showcases the journey of a determined young girl, Maddie Ross, who hires the tough U.S. Marshal, Rooster Cogburn, to track down her father's killer in Indian Territory. Their quest is joined by Texas Ranger Labowuff, who is seeking the same man for a different crime. As the trio navigates the perilous landscape, they encounter various obstacles that test their resolve and partnership. The film is distinguished by its sharp dialogue and dynamic interactions among the characters, particularly between Maddie and Cogburn, whose relationship evolves from a mere business arrangement to a deeper mutual respect. The performances, especially by John Wayne as Rooster Cogburn, for which he won an Academy Award, are pivotal to the film's lasting appeal. His portrayal of the gruff, yet honorable lawman with a hidden soft side resonates with audiences even today. True Grit's direction by Henry Hathaway, who is known for his work in the Western genre, contributes significantly to the film's authentic feel and storytelling. The cinematography captures the expansive, rugged settings that are synonymous with the Western genre, while the score complements the film's tone, enhancing the sense of adventure and danger. Overall, True Grit is a film that embodies the spirit of Westerns with its tale of justice, bravery, and the American frontier. It continues to be appreciated for its storytelling, character portrayal, and its ability to transport viewers to a time of outlaws and lawmen, making it a film worth revisiting for fans of the genre. Three white feet be on the slide. Four white feet passing by.